So today we are going to try um, the effect of Faruzan C6 and Shan Yun on a Shao. Currently my Shao sits at these stats. He is well built, he has the best artifacts on my account. He is my favorite character. Uh, so as you can see these are the artifacts. His talents are triple crowned of course, he is C0. And I'm gonna see if getting Farazan C6 and uh, Shan Yun are actually an insane buff or just mid or you know. So usually I was playing him with this team, which is the hyper team for Shao. But as you can uh, imagine, Farazan C3 needs 300 ER to get her ult back and she is not um, battering for Shao. So it's really clunky to play. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We finally got her to C6, so I'm gonna try and test the damage. Um, we're gonna try with the base team, then I'm gonna swap Farozan to uh, Millilith. Uh, because I'm gonna activate the C6 and give her a Millilith set. And then after that, I'm gonna replace Zongli with, um, with the Shan Yun. And then at the end, I'll try uh, Furina, Shan Yun, and Farozan. Okay. So this is the base damage I, would, I was used to get before getting the buff. So, what was that? I can't see. 92, 91, 94 here. So 90, 90-ish. 90, yeah. 90k basically, right? 90k. I I'll, I'll put the numbers on the screen after. So now we're gonna activate Farazan C6 and see the effect on the damage and on the... Uh, on Shao. We are also gonna give her a Millilith set. Okay, so now she has 200%. Okay, 200% should be fine. Mm. 200% should be fine. And she doesn't have a, that bad of a, a crit ratio. Alright, let's try now with this team. The difference now is that Farazan is C6. Let's go. Is it 94, 97 here? 99, so it's going up. Yeah, almost 100k. Alright, now... Third team. Okay, Rocky is going back to his place. We're gonna replace Zongli... Uh, with the Xianyun. So... We're gonna put... Xianyun here. Where is Xianyun? I cannot see here. My Shan Yun is C0, she's at 3400 attack um, on uh, Oathsworn I, R5. The artifacts are whatever, it's... I went on the Genshin Optimizer and saw what could give me the maximum amount of attack. Uh, I'll put her on another um, other set later on Furina, but for now I'll just use this, she's Constellation 0 obviously. She's talent 9 and alt is talent 10 found. Okay, let's try. So the rotation is gonna be... I'm gonna start with Farozan, Chan Yun, Bennett, or Bennett Chan Yun. I'm gonna go with Bennett Chan Yun first. <laughs> What was that? 139. What the hell? 142. 135? Okay, so... Shan Yun... Shan Yun buff is... Very... Uh, sizable. Now, for the last team, I'm gonna put Shan Yun on a VV set. Okay, so now Shan Yun has 133% and decent uh, crit ratio, but it doesn't matter for her. And yeah, we're gonna try this team now. So instead of Bennett, 
uh, we're gonna put Purina in. Okay, so the this team I'm gonna try it. What would be the the rotation? Start with Farina, Farazan, Canyon, and then Chao. Let's go. I'm getting 120k? I can't I can't really see properly. I need to redo the run, I'm pretty sure. But like yeah, this is the best run because you see his health bar is at half, basically, after one rotation. So we start with Furina. Chao missing his D, the classic. Yeah, 118k. 127k there. Yeah. I say, I say that's pretty good. So that's it for the damage test. Uh, it ended up being around 50% of a damage boost uh, compared to my initial damage with the Zong Li, Bennett, the Farazan C3 team. It's not a really scientific methodology because the result depends on so many factors. The quality of the artifact, the talent levels, the weapon, all of that, right? So you're not guaranteed to get this number. Can be higher or lower it depends really um i just wanted to make this video because i thought it would be entertaining to watch but also because i was curious to see the effect of these two units on uh, a well-built chow uh, after the damage test i ended up making a few tweaks here and there and some optimization uh, for example my chow had a very high crit rate and uh, since shan yun gives 10% crit rate on the plunge uh, attacks. I ended up like doing some tweaks here and there. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy overall with the results. Farzan at C6 makes Xiao teams not only stronger, but uh, super smooth to run. Uh, thanks to the particle generation, it's really, really comfy to play now compared to before. And Shen Yun gives him a sizable damage boost on his plunge attacks. Uh, especially in the single target scenario um, where he used to be weaker than other units. He, he, uh, Xiao used to be this AoE king, but like in single target suffered a little bit. Now I feel that he has like all the cards to play on both sides. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. You can also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss uh, the next video, which will be a video about Xiao versus uh, Abyss 4.4. Uh, so I will be playing him with different teams, I think, and also on both sides. And yes, even against the Weenut and his 90% Animores. Who thought that would be a good idea? Oh.